In this segment, I'm going to fix broken images within a Dreamweaver page using Dreamweaver CS4. Now, when you look at my screen, one of the first things you need to see is over in the Files panels is that I have defined the site. If you have not defined your site, you need to do that first before you start fixing these images. If you are just simply trying to do this quick and dirty on a PC, without defining the site, don't use Dreamweaver to do it. See the other video that I wrote on, or posted on um, fixing your broken images using Notepad. And if you're going to use Dreamweaver to fix your images, the first thing you need to do then, like I said, is to find a site. If you don't know how to do it, particularly if you're using Windows Vista Service Pack 2 or Windows 7, see my video on the workaround for defining sites on Windows Vista Service Pack 2. If you're using XP, this is not going to impact you. And if you're using a Mac, it probably won't either, but you still need to define your site. Okay, with my site defined, I'm going to open up the page that has the problems, and it's the preserves page. Let's take a look and see what's wrong with this. You see the broken links. When I click the link, I come down to the properties for that particular image, and I see the source here, and I'm going to press home on my keyboard. It's looking for a path, and the path is FBTS110. So what has happened is that when this image was originally inserted, either the site wasn't defined, the site was in a different location, or the file folders, the folders had different names, and then names were changed using um, Windows Explorer, not Dreamweaver, but whatever happened, the path is no longer correct. So what we have to do is we have to correct the path. It's real easy to do. All of the properties that you've set will remain the same with the exception of the image size. When I come down here and I look at the image size, I see that it is bold. That means that this image has not been resampled. So when I bring the image in again, it's going to retain its original size, and I'm going to have to size it again to 300 by 220. So if I just remember those two numbers, and let's see what image we're looking for. I'll press end on my keyboard, and I'm looking for the Falcon J JPG. Now I can grab the Falcon from my images folder and drop it in here. Or I can use the fishing line, the point to file, and I'll do that, and I'll point to Falcon. See, the Falcon comes in, but the Falcon comes in at the original size of the image. So I'm going to have to come in here and put in those two numbers that I try to remember, 300 by 220. And it's going to change the size of the file. All the other properties remain. My um, alt tag the alignment, um, if there was an ID tag here, no, there's no ID tag set for it. Now, you see this is bold. That means that the image that's located in the images file is still 67K, and it is using the original size. The original size is 720 by 488. But when I change it, if now I resample by coming down to my properties and clicking on resample, if I resample this, the image that is stored in my images folder is going to be permanently changed. If that's okay, then I want to do it. And in this case, I do want to do it. I want to get the size of that particular image down. So I click resample. It's going to tell me that I'm going to permanently change this, fi this file. That's okay. I'll say okay. Now we come over here. It's no longer bold and the image is set at 14K. So if I were to now drag that image in again, just like I did here, let's grab it this way, drag it in again this way, you're not going to see a change because the file has now been permanently resampled to this smaller size. Okay, let's take a look at this one, and this one is a map, and see I've got the same issue here of 285 by 213, and I'll point to the map, and then I'm going to come in here and I'll do 285 by 213. And 
Was that right? 285 by 213 certainly was. It just didn't seem right. And I will resample that one as well. So we've it selected. I'll click on resample. And OK. We'll do the last one here, which is the no tag. Let's see. No attack. Point to that. And I forgot to 200 by 105. And I'll resample that one as well. And now I fixed the links in my page. Now when we looked at it, look at it, I'm gonna just select it and go. It was the Falcon that we looked at, so I'll select it. And I'll press home. You see now the image is stored relative to this site within the images or with relative to this document it's stored within the images folder okay that's the end of this segment